everyone um we are back here again um talk about this time around linear regression okay with um tableau okay uh, let's see so over here we are using actually um facebook and adwords as data okay for this very example we're going to use um adword at data actually we're going to look at um to run actually a linear regression between uh, conversions, you know, and clicks, you know, how, uh, you know, actually the clicks, you know, are impacting actually the conversions, you know, if there is actually, a, you know, a linear positive or negative relation, right, between, you know, the clicks and then the conversions, you know, without wasting any further time, you know, let's just jump in right into it. Um, we're going to take here the clicks and then right here we have the conversions. So let's just put them right here now the next thing we're going to do here is um to um actually change this you know to dimension they are song we don't want to use song right we want to use dimension so the conversions are actually dimensions next thing we need to do is this to you know to switch you know to dimension actually we have the clicks the conversion here i don't think that's what we want okay let's just change this great so we want to have the clicks right here and then the conversions amazing the next thing we want to do here is um to um to um come down here to analytics and jump right here to analytics right great um come right here trend line we want to add a trend line here so Take the train line, you know, you can just, you know, put it whichever one actually you are, you know, analyzing. Are you analyzing a linear, a logarithmic, exponential, polynomial power? But the one I'm right running right now is a linear. So we just drop it down to linear. So we have the linear, you know, trend right here. Clearly, you can um, have a look at the equations right here. Um, You know, the coefficient, we have the coefficient here, you know, 0.047. And you know, yeah, the intercept is 3.14. So on the R square, you can clearly see the R square here. So okay, great. So the next thing I want to do here is um to take a look at it, right? So when you just click on it, you can clearly look at this equation right here, and you can see the equation and everything, right? It's right here. Another way you can get this is just to right click, right, and then you know look at this right. So when you click on this right trend line, you're going to have everything right here. So we have the p value is less than 0.05. That means the model is significant. You have the equation here. If you ever need it, you just copy. Okay, you come down here, you copy, and then you can put it actually in your document. If actually you are working, you know, on a project, you can just copy and then you know paste in there. And then you have the equation here with the, you know the coefficient and everything. You know you have the standard error the t on um, t value the p value and everything the coefficient the intercept everything is right in here you can have it you know and do whatever you know you see fit with it um another thing uh, we can actually try to edit right trying to edit actually you know this trend line and if we don't actually you know we are actually not interested in linear model and then we want to you know jump into logarithmic or exponential you can do so here you can change that right now if you want to add up you know, the, you know um the confidence bar or whatever you know we can do so here you know we can add up the confidence bar and then you come back here you see we have our confidence bar right here so you know that these are you know how you can actually you know you know adjust you know your model you know you know make it you know more you know convenient you can customize it actually you know you can customize the model you know as you see fit um yeah that's just uh, what i have for this you know that's how you can run you know, a linear uh, regression with um with um tableau i hope this this helps you know you know anyone that might you know need to run yeah, yeah actually this model you know for you know, whichever reason, analyzing with you know marketing analytics or any other actually you know uh, analysis that you know you are running you know as long as you have the data you can just you know go about it you know that way. I hope it helps. Uh, thank you for watching.